Howdy everyone, welcome back to Chiromox. I'm here this week talking about adapting your chiropractic message for your audience. You wanna make sure that your messaging applies the best that it can to every single one of your target audiences, which is not easy. And that's why we're gonna go over it right now. Uh, the first tip I have for you is to get rid of jargon. Um, my tip for accomplishing this is to have someone outside of the industry to read your content. So if that person cannot understand some of the words that you're using, it's likely jargon and you should tweak it to remove it. Or at the very least, to have an explanation, maybe a glossary or a, a key to the key terms that you're using. So maybe you really need to include subluxation in your content because that's important to what you do as a chiropractor to know what a subluxation is. But then you should definitely explain it so that a first time visitor isn't, I don't understand what they're talking about, I'm just gonna leave the site. So get rid of jargon. Another tip I have is to, as best as you can, write content for everyone. Um, so you have various different target audiences and you need to make sure that the content is suitable for each one of those target audiences. We talked about this last week a little bit too in our video, so I will leave a link in the corner here so that you can see that video if you want some more information. But uh, the key point here is to make sure that your content can apply no matter whether it's a first time visitor, whether it's a um, pregnant woman or a aging senior, you want to have content that applies to all these people. So maybe that means you're writing um, different pages for different groups of people. Um, and that plays right into this next point, which is separate landing pages. So because you want to have this content for all, you might want to have separate landing pages so that a person who's coming for the first time sees a different page than someone who's coming for the umpteenth time. Um, separate landing pages are um, probably a little bit more advanced then in-house you can handle. So this would be a good, uh, if you want to use these separate landing pages, this would be a good opportunity to reach out for us as to our advice for getting these up on your website. Uh, now I want to go into um, social platforms because adapting your chiropractic message doesn't just apply to your website and to your blog. It also applies to those other marketing pieces that we've talked about in past video series. Um, here I'm specifically talking about social platforms. So you want to adapt your message based on the platform that you're writing. Uh, so the message on LinkedIn is going to be different than the message on Facebook and Instagram versus Twitter. So you want to cater your messaging based on the platform that you are on. Um, now I'm going to talk about segmentation, which applies more so to newsletters because uh, adapting your newsletters and your chiropractic message within those newsletters is another important part of your overall marketing. So segmentation is, an, is a good way you break up your um, uh, subscribers in your newsletter into the various different pieces. pieces. So. Uh, Perhaps you have some people who are over 50 and you want those people in one segmentation. Or maybe you want to segment based on uh, male versus female or kids with families versus uh, <laughs> parents with kids versus parents without kids. All of those are various different segments that you can target and you can change it up um, as often as you'd like. Uh, so this is a really good way to make sure that the message that you're creating uh, is a really key for the audience. And lastly, ask for feedback and uh, have an opportunity for people to ask you questions. So this is a check. 
Are you doing it correctly? Are you um, successfully adapting your message? This is a way to find out by asking for feedback and for uh, having a place where people can ask you questions in case that you did it. Um, because you're probably not going to get it perfect the first time around and that's okay. This is why as marketers we're always going back, reviewing and refining and making our message even better as the months and years go on. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found some pieces of insight in it. We'll be back next week with another video. Um, but in the meantime, reach out to us at chiromox.com or check out our blog because we've got a lot of great content on there right now. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.